Stretch mark or striae distance is a common form of skin scarring that appear as red, purple or hypopigmented linear striations. There are two main types of striae distance. First is striae rubra, which is the early stage stretch marks and usually they are reddish or purplish in color. They are caused by rapid stretching of the skin in the dermis layer or the middle layer of the skin. One of the main causes of this disorder happens in pregnancy because of the rapid and significant stretching of the skin. This happens in about 70% of pregnant women, usually in the abdomen, breasts and thighs. These stretch marks in pregnancy are called stria gravidarum. Another common cause of stria rubra is puberty, when rapid growth can cause the skin to stretch rapidly. Other reasons include weight gain, hormonal fluctuation, some medical conditions like Cushing syndrome, and long-term use of corticosteroids, because these conditions affect collagen and skin elasticity. As it's been said, these stri are red, pink, or purple due to visible vessels through the skin. They may be slightly raised and cause etching or sometimes it may be painful. Actually, stria rubra forms when the skin is stretched beyond its elastic limit and it causes the collagen fibers to tear. They are usually linear and varies in length and width and they kind of have a wrinkled appearance. Over time, stria rubra may fade and evolve into stria alba, which is hypopigmented and scar-like, which are white or silvery in color, and they are more difficult to treat. The transition from stria rubra to stria alba involves the flattening and lightening of the marks as the inflammation subsides and the skin heals. This progression often happens over 6 to 10 months. Stria alba persists indefinitely and may become more prominent with age when the skin thins and loses elasticity gradually. The diagnosis of stria distance usually can be made upon visual examination of linear atrophic plaques in susceptible sites like buttocks, thighs, and breasts. Patients with associated symptoms and signs may require further evaluation to rule out any possible underlying disease. For example, stria distance along with supraclavicular fat pads, skin atrophy, and proximal muscle weakness suggest Cushing syndrome. But stria distance in a tall patient with aortic abnormalities should raise suspicion for Marfan syndrome. Treatment of stria distance is challenging and there is no definite therapy and there is no complete resolution. Therapeutic interventions aim to improve the appearance of affected skin by reducing color or texture differences between the affected skin and adjacent normal skin. Treatment of stria distance in pregnant women or stria gravidarum should be deferred until after delivery because there is no definite data of effects of variety therapies on the fetus over the pregnancy. In particular, topical retinoid, which is one of the treatments, is avoided during pregnancy. Treatment differs from stria rubra and stria alba. The first line treatment of stria rubra is pulse dilator therapy. This can both improve erythema and exert beneficial effects on skin collagen. Topical tretinoin is an alternative for patients who are unable or unwilling to proceed with laser therapy. A very thin layer of tretinoin is applied once nightly to affected area for several months. Preferred initial treatments for stria alba are fractional laser therapy and microneedling. Many therapists combine the microneedling with radiofrequency to boost the efficacy of microneedling. Other interventions may improve stride distance based upon some limited studies, like dermabrasion, phototherapy, and chemical pills. But there is not enough data yet to prescribe this method routinely. There are a variety of ways to prevent stride distance, like gradual weight loss because rapid weight gain or weight loss may affect the skin and develop stria distance. Another way is to keep the skin hydrated by using moisturizing creams or lotions, a diet rich in vitamin C and E, 
zinc and silica can support skin health. And finally, routine exercise helps maintain healthy skin and prevent excessive stretching.